Okay, so let's now cover the edit and the delete part of our blog post tag and categories. So let's go here admin slash home we have and for this we have not yeah we have these things so we have not covered anything to edit and to delete these things so firstly what i will do i will include far icons here instead of this delete and edit word written here so let's just open inside sublime and here we are okay so I will go to resources, views, admin, and firstly categories. It's show here. And here you can see we have this edit and delete. But here I want to say edit and delete for the far icon. So let's just open the raw files and see whether we are having any kind of icons for our help chrome and here let's see layout options no widgets no chart ui element yeah ui element icon is here and here i will search for edit edit is here so how will i use it so i think i have to inspect this so here it's giving yeah so i have to say here this span class of this so i will edit it as html so i get the code and go back and not this file uh, let's close this open resources and show and here we are and paste it go back refresh and yes we can see we have this edit button here so it's button but it's not treating as a button because we have to include this inside anchor tag so what i will do i will press ctrl shift and w it will create these closing and starting tags and then a escape space href and here i will give the href link so we will give it but let's see how it's look like now and yes it's blue and it's now clickable icon so let's just search for delete also so oops so i will say delete is that no maybe trash we have trash yeah here it is so let's inspect this one inspect and oh the same thing but the trash so what I have to do, let's copy and paste it. So delete this one. And instead of edit, I will say trash. Okay. So go here, refresh. And yes, we have this trash here. We have this edit here. So what we have to actually do, we have to firstly edit this. So that means whenever I click on this button, it should take me to that page which looks like same here but that time every field is filled okay so there are two options you can use the same page or you can use new page so let's first go and we have to give here the link for edit but we don't know what the route we have to give so obviously some kind of route has to be there which is having related to post dot edit type things but let's first go to terminal and i will create new terminal and here i will say php artisan route and lists okay now let's maximize it and uh oh okay so now we have to search for post and you can see post dot edit is here so we have to give post dot edit along with this thing and what is this this is actually the id of the post we have to edit so here it is 
and we have to include the ID also so what I will do how we can give ID here so you have to give a comma here and ne next just give the ID so post arrow ID because we have post element here and we can give the post ID okay but for deleting let, let's go again here and you can see it's a get request for edit but you can see tag dot destroy has a delete request delete method not request delete method so we have to give a form to delete this okay so if I go here so here we have to give a form so I will create a new form here so let's just do this and I will create a form firstly and firstly give a style of display none okay and now the action of this form will has to be that route of uh, post dot delete or it's destroy actually destroy and as we have done on the edit we have to give the post ID here so where is that here it is so post ID so and we know comma post arrow ID okay and this form is hidden so firstly we can give CSRF token so CSRF underscore field and along with that we have to give method field so method oops method underscore field and the method name is delete delete -E -L -E -T -E. okay so method name is delete and you can see it's here method name is delete so whenever you are deleting something you have to give a form but how we trigger this form via this link button so what I will do here uh, for this a that means the anchor tag I will give on click so on click let's first alert something so that we can see we are doing something correct so Chrome go to posts refresh or click on the delete and you can see we are having the alert so now we will use the JavaScript so what I will firstly do I have to grab this uh, form okay so I have to give an ID for this form so ID will be form or I can say delete form but because this is a loop and inside loop for every row we have a form for delete so if I give a single uh, common ID that will be confusing for the JavaScript so we have to include here that post arrow ID also so in this way what we are actually doing we are actually giving ID which just a minute in a moment I will show you okay so we are actually giving this ID so I think that will be here okay maybe this will work so let's go here oh not here Chrome refresh and inspect this one this delete button so now you can see delete form has form ID of delete dash form dash one because its ID is one you can give any name even you can give this loop index also it doesn't matter so we have to firstly grab the element but before that we have to prevent the submission of this form so uh, but before that we have to prevent the this uh, but before that we have to prevent any default action of this uh, anchor tag so firstly I will do event dot prevent default this is a simple case so I am preventing any default case so if I will give any route here let's suppose I am giving a route of post dot 
index suppose suppose and I will go to Chrome refresh and I click on delete so as we are giving this link so so we have to land on this same page so it's not actually doing anything because I have this prevent default so this is not going to do anything so we have to remove everything inside href now after that when we have prevent the default action we have to get the form so I will say document dot get element by ID and the ID is we know ID is form uh, delete form so delete dash form dash and the same thing again that means post arrow ID okay so we have given this now close this one and before closing we need this single quote okay so we have closed this and now dot submit okay so we have to submit it so what I have done I am getting this form via this ID so ID is here delete form and the exact ID and then I am submitting that form so let's go to Chrome refresh and click here and you can see it's doing something but uh, it's not getting exactly because we have not given any method here so you will say Sarthak you have given method here is the method but this is the level method you have to give this method of post every time you are having any form any kind of form so that will be must so now when I go refresh and yes you can see it having post slash one exactly we want but because we are not having anything on our controller for delete function so let's just open that controller and admin and post controller go to here you can see it's not having here let's just return id yeah okay go and refresh and yes we can see we have one here that means we are on the correct path so you can see we have given a button which is actually submitting this form so in this way we can delete anything okay so this is the simple thing but before that suppose by chance someone is just going here and by chance he has clicked so that will delete the block but we want to have some kind of uh, confirmation message so before that I will say if if and firstly confirm and confirm is uh, are you sure you uh, want to delete want to delete this okay and the question mark and if this is correct that means yes then we will submit it otherwise else and I will say same thing that means prevent default action so we don't have to do anything okay so copy this oops where it is oh, yeah so paste it here and what I will do I will just clean each and everything so that you can easily see what I am doing so firstly it is prevent dot default then document action submit then else part is here then prevent default then this thing okay so you can see firstly I'm confirming if it is yes then go here delete that otherwise prevent default action but means do nothing so click are you sure you want to delete uh, if I say okay I will go to that delete function otherwise if I say cancel it will do nothing okay so this is the way we can create these things so uh, firstly let's check for let's create something for delete so what we have to do we have this uh, 
delete id the id of the post we have to delete so just delete it so delete okay uh, post colon colon where where firstly have to search for id where id is dollar id arrow delete simple and then return redirect redirect where back so where you are coming from let's go back so and refresh and delete yeah okay and you can see we are on the back same page and we have no post here that means delete is successful let's add new so again the same thing okay okay no file nothing okay submit it and yes we have this but now we have to do for edit part so let's do that edit part here so we are giving edit and this will go to edit dot post and that function is here so edit so edit so let's just return id so again we can verify we are on the same on the correct path refresh click here and yes that means we are on the correct path so now what we have to do for edit we have to create a new file so let's create a new file inside post folder so edit dot blade dot php that has to be dot not comma okay so here it is but this is exactly same with the post dot blade dot php so copy everything from there and paste it here so as I told you you can use the same file the post file so in that case what you have to do you have to firstly search uh, you have to firstly check whether you have something or not so I will show that thing later so, so now what we have to do we have to go to controller and we have to firstly return view of uh, uh, admin dot post dot edit and here so let's go and refresh and let's go to post edit and yes we have this but this time we want every field to be filled so for that we have to firstly grab the post we have so post colon colon where id is id and get the first one so why first why not get let's just see and firstly return post what is the difference between get and first refresh you can see it's having us array inside that array there is one array of this but if I say here first and then save then you can see it's having a single array with the field so this that's why I have used this okay so now we have to pass this so compact method we will use and the post and you know that word has same to be the word you have written on the variable name so we have this thing so go to edit now we don't want this form to submit to post.store we want this form to submit to post.update method so for that you can see we can say update comma we have to give the id so post arrow id and where, where this post came from it came from here we are passing this so next we have to give a field that means the method field so that will be put and it's a method field so likewise we have we are doing on the delete same thing we have to give the method here of put or you can say patch also patch doesn't matter it's both are same okay now the value of this text box is post arrow title okay and uh, okay so go back refresh and you can see now it's uh, filled okay so this is where we can use this edit part and as i told you you can use this same post 
as the edit so in that case you are going to pass this on the post dot post uh, um, view okay oops post okay and here you have to check for uh, if the if set then dollar post then uh, value is equal to that thing so in that case this will do same thing but you can see it's messed up everywhere you have to do this so I am using this kind of uh, criteria where I am uh, creating new file if you want you can do all these things in the same file so let's just close we are not doing that thing okay so here it is and same thing for value of subtitle so subtitle slug having value of slug okay file name we will do later here we have to check so here we have to check that if post dot status delete these things if post dot status is equal to one then say checked okay so this in this way we can say simply checked if it is uh, yes so move this here and this thing also okay so if it is yes that means one then checked otherwise nothing so go back refresh and you can see it's not having any check because we don't have any data for the publish so if I say nothing and go and refresh and again it's not doing the same thing oh you know why it's not working because in the controller we are passing post dot post we have to pass post dot edit okay now go back refresh and here do that thing refresh you can see now it's checked because it it don't have any value so we want to have one then check so we will do these things later okay so now next part is this text box so text box paste it and this will be the body okay so everything is here we just want to submit again but this time you know we have given the route as update so we will go to update return request so I will say return request request all and save this refresh submit and you can see everything is here so if I say this is new edited version submit and you can see we are getting the body this is new edited version so we have to just save it as we are saving every time but this time again we have to validate so copy this validation from here paste it here and the same thing we are doing and exactly same thing we have to do here copy everything and where it is yeah here it is so here no not request all and now this time instead of a new post we have to say post colon colon find with id so you can see we have this id we are passing it on the form this so we will get the id here and the data also so id we are getting and now we are updating everything and save and redirect to that page and this is a very nice thing because you don't have to do anything in this case the save method will update everything for this post so save this and go back refresh continue and where is that I think we have to go again to edit and you can see it's now updated this is new version so if I update this title so this is edited title save this and yes this is edited title so in this way we can update 
and delete these things so in the next episode I will quickly do these same thing for the tag and category and maybe in the next to next episode we will connect tags post and category with post okay so don't forget to subscribe like with films on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and keep learning new things and I'm with you and suggest me what you want to learn till then goodbye